The whole thing had lit a spark in him. For half a day he'd sat without moving. He'd read it a dozen times. When Bess came in from the yard wanting to chatter and play, he told her to run along. He was busy. When darkness fell, he lit the lamp and read it again. He fetched a knife and scored it around and folded it into quarters and placed it in the pocket of his shirt next to his heart. He felt his breath come differently. He could no longer sit still. He paced about and every half hour he took the folded paper from his shirt pocket and smoothed it flat on top of the table and read it again. There were no illustrations, but in his mind they resembled a ruined church or a shipwreck of stone. The monstrous bones, the prodigious tusks, uncovered where they lay sunk in the salty Kentucky mud, teeth the size of pumpkins, shoulder blades a yard wide, jaw bones that suggested a head as tall as a large man, a creature entirely unknown, an animal incognitum.